All right, guys, welcome back. It is Punt Factor here, bringing you some more Green White Value Town. Um, yeah, we're just going to get rolling here. Uh, I'll go over the deck list again, just in case it's the first video you're watching. Um, only run in one Pachuca Bog, five forests, one Gavany Township, only three Ghost Quarters, one Horizon Canopy, two Plains, two Temple Gardens, and a full eight fetches. I would like to make one of these fetches uh, a Horizon Canopy. I just don't have the card and I don't want to drop the money. Um, for my sort of interactive suite, I'm um, running the standard four path to exiles, one Dramocus command that everybody is running. Uh, I am running the full eight mana dorks. Uh, I, was, I was at seven, but eight eight definitely feels a little nicer. Um, two scavenging newses, I was at three, uh, dropped down to two. It just felt like a bear too often. Uh, I have three voice of resurgence. I would like to go to four. Um, I, I think the card is better than, than people are saying. Um, I have two Ramanap Excavators, a Ramanap Excavators. Uh, you'll notice I'm not running a Zusa. Um, I have three Tireless Trackers, four Corsair of Crifix, four Knight of the Reliquary, being the backbone of the deck, obviously, if you're at all familiar with Value Town. And then in my flex slot, I have two Knight of Autumns. Uh, this card definitely... Um, the, the utility to this card is fantastic. Uh, at, at the worst... In, in matchups where this card isn't really relevant, it's a 4-3 for 3, which, like, isn't the greatest, but it's fine. Um, but in, like, our game ones, this card gives us a lot of outs to a lot of different situations. Um, against Burn, it's a fantastic card. Against anything like Affinity, um, or even, like, the the 12 rack or 10 rack that we've been playing, um, the, the card's just, it's fantastic. It's an awesome card. And then, uh, obviously, my four collected companies. So onto the sideboard. Um, I'm still I'm still working on the sideboard. Like I just have no idea what I want to do yet. Uh, I do know I want two stony silences. I know I want to maybe want two surgicals. Um, definitely want two engineer explosives, and I definitely think I'm sold on two warships. Um, so these cards over here are definitely my my mainstays in the in, in the in the sideboard um surgical extract is fantastic but i don't see myself using it all that often um so i might be i might be switching this out for something at some point and then two chokes um i'm running the two chokes because i saw that like blue whites um and esper uh they're they're becoming a little more prevalent and not really so much esper but um, blue white is definitely kind of creeping back up in its meta share. So I think having the, having the chokes is, is pretty solid, but they could change next week because modern is just, uh, an insanely, uh, adaptive format. Um, so over here, this is kind of like my fun part of the sideboard. I'm running two Eldritch evolutions, which I might want to just drop down to one. Um, and then I have like a few silver bullet creatures, um, I have an Avon Mind Sensor that I think is just fantastic against like Amulet Titan. Um, I had a lot of rhetoric, which for obvious reasons, um, it's, it's good against a number of decks, but you know, the obvious being like Storm and different combo decks like that. And then Lin Vala Keeper of Silence, I think is just, it, it's just a bomb um, against a lot of decks, namely Elves. Like you drop this uh, into Elves and they have a really tough time dealing with it. And also uh, our Devoted Company matchup, um, this card is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So that's the 75. Um, the 60 I've been really happy with so far. Um, I'm probably not going to change too much. Um, and then at least half of the sideboard I'm pretty stoked on. But, you know, that, that could also change. So we're just going to jump into a queue here. Um, cool, we get to get right in, which is fantastic. And let's see what we're up against. Let's also make sure I'm recording. I am, which is good. Okay. This is an awkward hand that I don't think we can keep. Yeah, we're going to maul it. Um, if this collected company gets stripped out of our hands. Or even then, like, yeah, no, we have to get rid of this. That's not too much better, but at least we have some interaction. So even if our noble gets taken, like we're able to kind of fight off the initial wave of stuff. Jeez, another path. 
So let's lead here on Forest Noble. Alright, let's see what our opponent's actually up to. Okay, Temple Garden. Razor Verge Thicket. Okay, so we're we're just gonna path that for sure. Although, like, we could probably let's see what we draw here, because there's a couple different options. Let's get this in tabs. I got a sneeze. All right. I probably I, I should have pathed this thing because now they're gonna get to draw a card off of it. So the nice thing is like it's actually targeting. Do we path it now? I don't think it matters. Yeah, I think we kind of have to path this thing. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. So one nice thing, we can... We can get rid of this uh, bogle, boggle. So there's a courser. Yeah, let's play out the courser here. Go ahead, gain a life. So here's the fear. I almost wonder if I did that wrong because If this thing gets too out of control, Dramoka's command just doesn't matter. I'm probably going to path this thing. Plus one, plus zero, flying. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and path this thing. So this is going to be big enough that it's a pain. So like I'm thinking here it'll be a four. Yeah. I'll be able to like swing in, get the exalted trigger. Just kidding. I won't be able to. Uh, this is rough. So... So we could have them sacrifice an enchantment. Mm -hmm. 
So it's getting a plus two, plus two. So two, three, four, five. So he'd probably get rid of this one. I would assume. So it would go two, four. It would be a five, a five, four. I still wouldn't kill it. I think I want to get a shuffle. All right, so have them sack an enchantment because they would just sack that enchantment, I think. And we'll go there. Okay, it's a seven seven. It's gonna be go figure. At least it doesn't have trample. So like that's that's a plus, right? Let's block. Trying to think of our outs here. We definitely don't want to draw this forest. So they have zero cards. Another bird. So swing. What are our outs to deal with this stupid thing? I don't think we have any. This is a game where we bring in worship, EE. So here's actually another situation where blasting zone or blast zone would be fantastic. Could you imagine Blast Zone on one? Like, can we just appreciate how amazing that would be for a minute? What are these guys? Oh, dude. It would be awesome. So we're drawing another Courser. Oh, no. Now we just die. He should swing in with everything. Yeah. Yeah, we just die. Okay, so that's fine. This game, we're looking to bring in EEs. We're looking to bring in warships. We are looking to shave one path a couple scuses
and probably an excavator because I don't think they matter nearly as much. So do we want anything else here? When Vala does nothing, we could almost like bring in an EE. That's the thing though, they, they play so much like, they play so many enchantments. I was gonna say we could bring in like an EE to just search up like a Knight of Autumn. But I don't think, I think this is fine. So this matchup, we're really looking to get Worship down. Gonna maul this hand. I mean, it's a fine hand, but it's just not gonna do it. Uh, I'm not going to five. A tracker. So a tracker allows us to get clues to draw in draw into our um, our answers which is fine okay that's good for us oh I, sh I shuffled it away anyway that's fine because Courser Courser's kind of the same way here okay that's actually not, that's really bad for them. So let's play this off the top. Let me go ahead and shuffle. Coco, huh? That's fine. Knight, noble. Swing in for three. So we have a pretty serious clock, especially with them missing their land drop. They're probably going to lose. Um, this Dromokas command is, yeah, okay. I'm gonna say that Dromokas command is gonna come in handy for sure. Um, You know, why don't we get rid of like one ramen app and bring in We could bring in a flyer, but like let's bring in the evolution. So the moral of the story kids. Don't keep a one land hand and say this hand's perfect if I just draw one more land in the next two turns. Because it never happens. So being on the draw, we are really hoping to, to rip a warship. We're going to keep it because we have an EE. And we know it's going to stay in our hand. So we have a pretty fast EE as well. Okay. So with the deck, you kind of want to uh, save your fetch lands so you can use them for shuffle effects. Go figure, huh? That's an interesting little tech there.
So I don't want to waste our mana here. So we're going to go ahead and E out on one. It's unfortunate that we can't I don't think we can crack this. So I screwed up. Yeah. I used to run that card too. So what are we hoping to get to here? That's rough. That's just going to get there. Huh. So the other option is like... Did not think they would have suppression field. I should have, I shouldn't have played out the EE. So we could like path our bird. So, if we path our bird, that is so rough. Pathing our bird does nothing. Might as well play out a voice. So one, two, yeah, we cannot activate anything right now. This is frustrating. So then we'd have one, two, three, four. All right, so 
We are definitely going to path. We're going to path our voice to give us four mana. And then we are going to have to EE -E on one. We might be able to turn this around. Although, we're not going to be able to EE though, is the thing. Because we need six lands. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, wait a minute. Two, three, four. Two. So I wonder if we just lose. We get on to six. Yeah, protection from creatures is brutal. What are we hoping to hit if we Coco? We're hoping to hit a Knight of Autumn. Protection from creatures. Because I don't think there's any way for us to... We're short one mana. We are short one mana. And that was a mistake playing out the EE. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So we have to think about the next turn too. Because... Next turn we're just going to be short again. So like... We can't beat another enchantment. Wow, this is a tough freaking spot. Do we Coco? One card, huh? So let's see what enchantments they have. Yeah, the spirit mantle has to go away.
So it's a 5 3. I say we like double block, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like wipe it. Why is that still around? Oh. Never mind. Damn. There it was. I'll have to rewatch that game, I think. I think there were probably areas where I misplayed that. Um... These suppression fields, wow, they really, that was, that was crazy. I was fine with one. I didn't expect them to have two. Um, I'll have to rewatch that because I can't think. There were definitely some like really tricky lines and I think I made, the, the one mistake that I can definitely think of is when I played out EE but I wasn't anticipating the second suppression field. So I played out EE instead of paying for my fetch land. And um, it ended up like, that just ended up setting me back. I had to path my own guy. Um, that was a tricky, that was tricky. Um, yeah, that's, that, that, that's definitely a good learning game though when I go back and check it out for sure. Um, all right, guys. Anyway, that's mind blowing. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is Pun Factor bringing you all the green, white value town. More to come.